you know why they call them seagulls? Damn. No, why? Because if they were in the bay, they'd be bagels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm a seagull. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. And that's what we do to you. And go there. Thank you so much. Some you'll get rubbed. Patreon, all you beautiful patron babies. Thank you so much. And follow uh, everything else. How you doing today? Doing well? Good. That's good. Today I thought it'd be fun to look at some of our most anticipated films, Indian films coming out in 2023. I think that would be fun too. Uh, obviously this doesn't include Hollywood films like Oppenheimer or whatever that Nolan one is called. Yeah. Or, um, I, you know, it, Scott's in that. Is he really? Yeah. No, oh, nice. Yep. He got to work with RDJ and... That's fun. Yeah. Um, anyways, so this is going to be a uh, kind of overview of... Uh, all industries, the the ones that I could I, I found. Clearly, there will be some and, that you will comment and say, "How did you not know?" And I know there's a whole bunch, but obvious. And also, with these, it's always the bigger films that usually have, of course, or the ones that are at least closer to being released. Right. That doesn't mean they're going to be the best films. It just yeah. means that they're the. <laughs> The most, the, the biggest. Um, usually the best films that we've seen in a year are the ones that you find out about a week before. Yeah, oftentimes. <laughs> it's at least true. in Indian cinema, then the small Malayalam films or uh, uh, Gala uh, this yeah. past year. T sadly, a lot of the films, you don't even know they're around until the conversations begin about award season. Yeah. Like last film show, yeah, it had been around all year, but we didn't know about it until it started to have the talk in the the festival circuit. Um, so most of these are probably going to be more the bigger ones, and there's some that aren't going to be on this list, like um, uh, Ani Brush or uh, that bad CGI one, the really bad. Yeah, but I think people are anticipating now because of what they're doing. They're spending another hundred something ridiculous amount of money to, to fix it to fix it and so now everybody's like are you going to be able to fix it I just, <laughs> I just it just boggles the mind that that ever that it passed through the people to sign off on it and give it a thumbs up and say yeah let that thing go so like i think people are anticipating that just because of like <laughs> it's it will now be the most expensive indian movie ever made because of what they've had to reinvest in it because they know they would have lost and it will still be one one hundredth of a percent of james cameron's budget for avatar <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, these would be, I think, I think I got about 10, well, kind of, uh, maybe a little more of most anticipated. And we're going to start with probably the three most anticipated, and it's, I'm going to lump them all together. Yeah. It's all three Shah Rukh Khan films. Yep. Uh, of obviously uh, Bathan, Jawan, and Donkey. And I got to say, I was excited for Pothon, but unless they change the color of that bikini, I'm not seeing it. I agree. I agree. Uh, but because yeah. when it comes down to elevative artistry, what matters most to me is that. So I think, obviously, Pothon, obviously, a big action adrenaline filled film. And then Donkey, which I think is going to be another big uh, action, but I think it's going to be almost more South Indian uh, feel because it's a South Indian director. Ani is the composer. Yeah. And so I think you're going to get a lot more like uh, South Indian feel to that film. Yeah. Uh, which could be cool to see Shah Rukh Khan in that kind of role. Uh, and then Donkey bringing it all more back to like grounded uh, reality kind of like Three Idiots style with right. the director. P or, or PK. I think these are probably the three a lot of people's especially Hindi audiences. they got to be. Most anticipated of And I'm years. excited to see where all three of these go in terms of SRK's approach, because he's always made it clear his his choices are based on what he thinks the fans are going to want. Mm -hmm. And there's also this transition taking place with folks like I read an article in the Times of India uh, that Rithik was rewatching with his sons some of his older things and realizing that he's nowhere near where he wants to be as a thespian. Mm. And the, ch the choices he's going to make are far more right now, which make you happy, 
uh, he wants to be the best actor he can possibly be. That's great. Yeah. Excited. So I, 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 we've seen that and know the capabilities of SRK. If you haven't seen My Name is Khan, that alone is I'm enough to show you what he can do. Excited to see him in this realm, the big action realm. Me too. As long be... as he can do it. Because yeah. he, he, do it as long as and you can. Just don't man. wear orange as well. Yeah, seriously. Uh, in any film. It should just, I say, boycott it everywhere exactly anything connected to india just if orange is involved it just makes sense it's common sense it's logical what else could make a better choice for the world than boycotting everything orange exactly great uh so Glad obviously the probably thing. the the three most anticipated at least for hindi audiences i don't even need oranges anymore and one of the most anticipated uh for tamil audiences is obviously PS2, oh, yeah. obviously. Yeah. It's one of our most anticipated. We, What's w- going on there in that photo, though? Yeah, I don't know. That looks I like Kantara. It does. Right? Um, I What's going on? It comes out in, I think, April now. Um, it's very, very exciting. Um, if you were a fan of the first one, I think you're going to be a fan of this one. Obviously, I think it did really, really well, in the yeah. at least in the Tamil box office, right? Um, and if... If I guess if you were expecting a Bahubali, you might not have enjoyed it, but we weren't. And we weren't, and the trailer didn't tell you that. No. Um, uh, so and it's Monty Rottenham. So it's Monty Rottenham. Uh, so obviously, you guys know this one's pretty high up there for us. Yeah. And uh, it should be for at least a lot of Tamil audiences as well. The next one is who knows when it comes out, but LJP's read this. Um, LJP's Nanpakal Nirith Mayakam with Mamuti. Yeah. It could have come out this month, possibly. Mamudi released Maybe. a tweet just two days ago that said, "Coming to theaters soon." Maybe, and Maybe I was not. like, "When is soon? That could be months from now." <laughs> but I think they're gearing up because obviously it's it's gotten rave reviews at all the film festivals. A lot of people saying like it's actually one of his most simple, and like they're saying it's like well, it's LJP, best. yeah. Um, and so with Mamudi, obviously, with a, a acclaimed actor as Mamudi. Um, I'm really excited about it. I just want them to freaking release it. And we haven't mentioned that before. That is one of the reasons a film can have a potential release date and then not move forward with it. Because most industries all over the world will do pre-screens when they have the budget and you have a star the size of him. Yeah. You'll get an audience pre-screen to get feedback. And if you start to get feedback that says this has the potential to be film festival, this has the potential to be the submission for India, they may have had a spring release and then decide, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put more budget into the promotion of this thing and we're going to campaign it in the film festival so it's going to wait a few months. Yeah. That may be what happened it got, to this. Like, I think of the Bengali film festival that just happened. Yeah. It got rave reviews because it, it was there. Great. Um but so I'm just waiting for them to come out with a release date. <laughs> like, don't you have LJP in your phone? Yeah, just text him. I should text him. him. Yeah, come on, he's a Shoot ghost. Him up. What's uh, the deal? Actually, he's not. He's no, Malayalam. I don't it, forget the word. What is the word in Malayalam? I don't know. You guys have to let us know. But obviously, I'm very much anticipating this film, um, especially looking forward to seeing a LGP film in theaters. Yeah, uh, I think it's only about an hour forty five as well. Yeah, it doesn't really me. short film. Um, next one is one that I, th- I don't think a lot of people were anticipating, but now are is Kuti mm-hmm. with uh, um, um, I don't want to wow. just call him Vishal Bardwash's son, uh, right? Uh, uh, Asman, Asman, Asman Bardwash, and we saw the trailer for this thing, and he's got some pretty solid actors, I would say. Gongana, Nasir, Taboo, uh, Arjun, <laughs> uh, along with, I think, his father composed it. Uh, and and I, it was a very nice trailer. Yeah. I, Excited. I, I'm really, I think it comes out on the 13th, which I I just, I, I love the trailer. I'm hoping for his first film. It's a knock out of the park kind of thing. I think it would be great. Yep. Uh, and I think it looks original, and yep. I think people are clamoring for good original theatrical content Absolutely. hopefully it does well who knows yep. uh, but this one is and you know us anytime we can support nepotism we're gonna gotta love it gotta love it uh, but yeah that's uh, one of the most and then another one that uh, <laughs> I guess uh, nepotism as well Rocky yes. and Rani uh, which is Ranveer and Alia coming Reunited together again since first time since Gully Boy Kieran Johar uh, that's which, a fun combo right there if Kieran Johar, I mean, he's talked about a conviction a lot lately, I feel like. He has. And he wants to bring back the old school, big Bollywood romance rom-com. Right. If he can bring, obviously the actors can bring it. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, and 
and so and obviously we're not expecting like festival style stuff with him at the helm. No. Uh, but that's that you you want just fun heart in in this and that's what I that's what I want. I want Karen Johar to bring back big Bollywood romance. Absolutely. Uh, and I I'm I'm real excited about this one. Me too. Uh I think it could be really really good. Um, it's gonna be really fun to watch them, depending upon obviously the characters. But the chemistry they had in Gully Boy was so nice to watch. Especially how different of years each of them had last year. Alia yeah. had a great year in terms of box office. RRR, Gunga she, she had an Amazing, your personally uh, too. She yeah, got personally, married, had a baby. Uh, Brahmastra yeah. as well. Um, Signed and, uh, with all uh, that CSA, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and Renvier, who I think in terms of box office did not have a good year. No, but even he, though we love. Shame. We, we, yeah, we loved uh, uh, Jai Shai Jodong. We didn't, see, we didn't see the uh, <laughs> too many people said uh, circus was circus a train was wreck. Just, just one of the worst of the year. Yeah, uh, which is why you did not see a review from us because we don't want to subjugate ourselves to it. Yeah, uh, and but, I heard enough from reputable sources. Yeah, that uh, like if it was just like some people, I'd be like, okay, let's go see it. But it was like people were like, oh, this is yeah. this is not good. And there's no reason for us to watch a movie we won't like and are going to talk negatively about it. We yeah. Wanna, talk about the good stuff but this one i don't think we're gonna wait just with uh the people involved yeah uh, and all that I, those three those two stars and him directing i'm willing to risk it yes absolutely uh another one uh i'm really looking forward to here is we just got a poster for it animal yes which is directed by sandeep reddy Vagma, Banga, yeah who did um kabir singh and uh arjun reddy uh, that was the name of that one, right? Mm -hmm. But it also has um, uh, Bobby Dole yep. and Anil, Anil Kapoor, Kapoor in it. And I think, did I see Tripti was in this, or was it? Is that something else that she's in? I think that may have been something else. I thought she was. Is it? Is it? Is it this that she's in? What did I see Tripti's in? I don't know. I thought. Hold on, let me see the full cast here. Yeah. Hmm. I thought I saw Trip Two's in. Well, any just go to her IMDb. It should show whatever she's got going on. Really? Untitled Vicky, K uh, is it a Vicky Kershaw? Vicky Koshal. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, I thought she was in it. Okay. But anyways, Animal. Obviously, the poster looks awesome. I hear it's a ridiculously violent film with that director. I have faith that it could be a well done uh, film as well. Ren Beers acting, uh, and obviously Bobby Dole's resurgence uh, in this kind of like. Is this his first film since Love Hostel? It might be. I mean, that was just last year, right? Yeah. So it might be. Uh, obviously, I know this was a highly anticipated film. Uh, I'm real. The posters kick ass. Yep. Uh, looks really awesome. Yep. Um, and so that that's one that I'm I'm very much looking. Does that forward have a to. release date? It's this year, 2023. Right. But I don't think it's a, a official yet. Okay. Uh, but I bet maybe towards the summer. I bet. Another one, which is really super interesting, is called Project K. And it has, get this, Brabus, Dapika, and Amitabh Bachchan. Oh, and I so I think it's simultaneously wow. shot in Hindi and Telugu, so it's one of those. Right. But that cast, well, the fact that it's Prabhas and Dapika alone, yeah. is exciting to me to have the two representative industries together. Uh, directed by Nag Ashwin. Uh, Big B. But. So what is what is this thing? Uh, Project Chase, I'm coming in science, science fiction, fiction film. We, we need more of that. Um, produced uh, in the Sunshan Telugu, probably Topeka. And like, Topeka's in a lot this coming year. What a surprise. Like, I think SRK has three coming out, but she might have like four big films coming Good out. Good for her. You know, but, hey, Priyanka, I, you have way too much on your plate. Get some of those endorsements and restaurants and perfumes and clothes and everything off your plate and start acting again. Thanks, bye. Yeah, when's uh, when's she coming I, back to I India, don't know. Indian I, cinema? She's so focused right now on being a parent, being a mom, and being a a, a, a spokesperson. And I don't think she has much to do with her restaurant other than just show up every once in a while. Uh, and yeah, but she also produces 
but in her book, it was encouraging that the last part of her book talks about how much she really, like Rithik, mm -hmm. is looking forward to biting into some juicy rolls. So, And speaking of Rithik, another one of the most anticipated films of the year is called Fighter. <laughs> And so it's a big action film. Is this, uh, and this is like, his answer to uh, Top Gun? I don't know. Um, but it's, um, it's I, I'm sure you oh, saw. Oh, with Topeka? Yeah. And Anil? And Anil. And I think you saw probably his pictures that he posts on Instagram. Like he's e extremely ripped mm -hmm. for this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's. As all pilots are. <laughs> you know, most men in the military are 3 to 4% body fat. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Rithik Fighter That is one of the things I, I appreciate Tom has always been In good shape But has never Been in that weird freak Doesn't happen in the world so this position is what, of physique. This is what he just posted yeah, on that's, Instagram. It's just not normal, kids. <laughs> you know what that? You know what that is? Oh, look at that, man. That's him saying SRK. Let's go. Oh yeah, bud. Let's go. That's just. There's no fat on that body. That's right not. There. That's not normal. Kids. No. I it's mean, a, and it's not. It's actually. It's ultimately in the long long run. That's not healthy. You know. No. It but. still looks unbelievable. And it's just like a fighter get, you know, movie stars do that. They prep for the films the way fighters prep for a fight. And then once the film's over, they're eating <laughs> granted nuggets and pizza. And most fighters aren't allowed to roid up either. True. And most actors, if do. they're doing it, do roid yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, it's kind of hard to not get in that kind of shape without some kind of PED. Yeah. It really is, guys. I mean, it just, it is what it is. As long as people know, I mean, every, if you're not an idiot, you probably should know that, that most people that in movies do it. Yes. I, it's just, the, I mean, it's not, it's not like unfair like it is in martial arts because obviously you're competing. Right. If you're competing and giving You're literally the, just trying to get somewhere to look to a certain look way. To look a certain way. <laughs> but over time, that's bad news bears. Oh, yeah. Man. You don't want to keep That is you bad keep news bears. But obviously, so that, that one's uh, uh, pretty exciting. Topeka, another Topeka one. Yeah. Uh, but then there's this one as well, which has. Poo. Oh. <gasps> Karina Kapoor, oh, wow. Taboo, those three ladies, and Creedy, good grief, to star in Ray, uh, Rhea Kapoor's The Crew. What a great trio, man! Um, Turn them into Charlie's Angels right now. Um, it's it's, 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 it's a movie is said to be a comedy set in the backdrop of an airline's industry. Um, I mean, just my goodness. bringing those three actresses absolutely. together what is going fun. to be absolutely amazing and fun and so just having them in the cast alone yeah, I think is gonna put butts in seats look at the elegant queen there which one taboo oh she's the, the her royal highness to me <laughs> she's just she exudes queenliness I agree Ugh. um and uh, another one as well is called Dangala which is starring Vikram, Vikram, and Pravathi. Cool. Uh, and it's the director of that really good Tamil boxing film. Mm, the one that we like yeah, not, way more. Not, than, not, sorry. not uh, too fun. Sorry, sorry, Farhan. I think he agrees though oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it, that director. Great. A, That's exciting. A cool picture of Vikram, uh, a, a still from it so far. Um, so I, d I don't really know much about it. Uh, just Other the, than it's coming. The people involved, you got two good actors in Pravathi yeah. and Vikram. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that director is a, a really good director. I think it's more historical as well. Great. Um, so that's exciting. And I know there's a whole uh, uh, other ones as well. Uh, uh, there's one more I have here, and it's with uh, none other than Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Who? Yes. It's called Hadi. And it's a tale of a small town boy who has a desire of becoming a woman. Oh. And the story shows the history of Indians transgenders. Oh, wow. With Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Wow. Apparently on your Akanyarag, <laughs> who, for a man who doesn't like acting, sure acts a lot, don't you? And I, I don't know if you've seen, like, this is, this is, this is Nawaz. I don't know if you've seen this picture. I have not. That's oh, no I can't wait. That's Nawaz. And he, I've, I've seen him promoted on, on Instagram. Great. And stuff like that. So How his, fun. His what a fun role. Yeah. And it's Nawazad and Siddiqui, so you know he's going to knock it out of the frickin' park. Yes. Um, and I was actually kind of sad this year. We didn't really... 
I know he was in that one with Tiger that that did terrible. Right. That he year. looked so that fun. He looked in. Like so fun, but I know it was a, just an awful, awful film. Yeah, um, that's what people said. Um, I'm sure, it paid the rent. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I know this is the kind of stuff that yeah. he would much prefer to do, Absolutely. and this is the kind of role that an actor can, especially of Nawazuddin and Siddiqui's caliber, Absolutely. can just sink his teeth into. Uh, and I think it, it's going to be absolutely what a amazing. Joy and a challenge. So the fact that, that he's character. doing this, you also got Pankaj's film of that uh, him playing that PM, correct? Uh, which is is one I'm anticipating as well. There's one that I, that w- wasn't included in here. I think it's I th- it's called Merry Christmas, and it's Vijay Sadapathy and. I want to say like oh yeah I remember that yeah it's like a it's called Merry Christmas it's called Merry Christmas and I was like are we gonna get an Indian Christmas yeah. film which is be very exciting um, and there's and there's uh, a couple others like the, there's a VJ film coming out but it's called I think the way a lot of these actors do it like NTR has a film coming out Ram Charan has a mm-hmm. film coming out but they all like it's called uh, RN sixty seven or whatever number right film that's it is. A, it's just got a working NTR title NTR forty six right and they all have films coming in I know like a lot of them are highly anticipated but I just I know nothing about them do we have a list of series coming this year uh, yes we got Mizapur right we got Made in Heaven right we also got Shahids right uh, OTT uh, coming Correct. out. Um, so hopefully we only got to two last year. I want to get to Are Rocket Boys coming back. I don't know if Rocket Boys coming back. Okay, but hopefully uh, it, well, I feel like it was almost a down year for OTTs last year in terms of like new ones coming out. Yeah, or at least continuation. The one that I'm sorry we missed and it was just availability, but I heard good things about was Kubra's sci-fi thing. That and I that think was is an on... Indian though. It's not an Indian show. That's right. It was a. It's a. Ho- I, That's right. I think it's a Hollywood on Apple. Yeah. It wasn't an Indian film. That's why. Uh, Thank you. I'd forgotten that. But yeah, yeah, that one that one was interesting. But yeah, the, the Shahids is coming up, I think, in February, uh, which I'm very excited about. Oh, you know what? Else, you know what I love about that? What? Look at his right hand. And yeah, bloody. The bloody right hand and the bloody stick next to it. I don't know if I don't know what like if he's going to become like a lord like Ali and Gungubai, or what what is it? Uh, and I don't really know this director i i don't but it does say that it's based on the history of indian transgenders uh, no he's second unit director for that one that's exciting the director of singing no that's different sorry second director assistant oh, okay so it looks like this guy's worked with Anyarag a lot well, yeah so he was a second ad on a lot of on that's uh, sacred Anurag. games. That's yep. on your rug. That's yep. on your rug. That's, that's on your rug. So clearly, and so probably that's why on your rug's involved. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I, I think you might be a first time director. Yeah. Most of the credits here show second AD or AD. That's interesting. Great. Good for him. Yeah, and um, and I know there's a whole bunch of other ones. These are just the ones that I, Fafa has some coming out, but there's hardly any information about any mm-hmm. of them. Uh, R- Radhika's Miss Uncover, I believe, should come out at some point, but there's hardly inf- any information about that. So I got the one. I think that, we're getting another Delhi Crime too. Yeah, because mm, Delhi Crime Two has already dropped. Oh, that's the one we missed last yeah, year. Yeah, we missed Daily that's Crime too. That's the one too. we missed. Because um, I, I forgot one. But yeah, so these are the ones that uh, I'm highly anticipated. There's going to be a billion others. A lot of Malayalam films, a lot of Tamil films, a lot of stuff that we ju- I just we don't know about yet. That will probably might be probably our best films of the year at the end of the year. Yeah. It's just, it's usually only the bigger ones that you, you hear about at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And it's like in America, it's all the Marvel films. It's all the... Ooh, whatever yep. avatars or yeah like everybody knows that nolan's film is coming out yeah uh, but but it's not going to come out probably till december but people <laughs> yeah people don't know like I, I just watched that banshee the irish yeah i can't one. wait to watch that one um that, that that was on nobody's highly anticipated of the beginning of the year no but it's gonna it's, be in the award conversation of the year exactly because typically what happens is everything's timed a certain way and once the film festivals start kicking off in august i mean you've got sundance that happens early, but really, the stuff that starts to kick doesn't start getting known when it's in the awards conversation until August. Yeah. So, anyways, let us know what your most anticipated are of 2023, and then come back to this in a year and see any how if any of these were actually good. Hopefully, they are. There's a lot. Congratulations of- in uh, advance for uh, Jessica Lang winning Best Actress at the Oscars in 2024. 
That's my prediction. 2024? Yeah, that this coming year. Why was she playing? She's in a play that she did on Broadway that is a, a, a remake of, uh, the play is, oh, good grief. Uh, uh, it's, I'm gonna, it's, <laughs> it's got the same amount of syllables as All Quiet on the Western Front. Uh, but that's my prediction. Your prediction's wrong. Just 